Hello friends, welcome to Mocktest channel. Here you will find another set of commonly asked questions in PST exit exam. So let's get started. Which one of the listed requirements regarding the storage of a survival craft corresponds to present SOLAS regulations? Each survival craft shall be stored. Option A. Wherever space is available. Option B. In a state of readiness so that two crew members can prepare for launching in less than 5 minutes. Option C. On the starboard side of the ship. Option D. In a secure and sheltered position and protected from damage by fire or explosion. The right answer is option B. In a state of readiness so that two crew members can prepare for launching in less than 5 minutes. Maximum capacity of lifeboat is Option A 28%, Option B 30%, Option C 150% and Option D 100%. The right answer is Option C 150%. MOB marker boy is used in case Option A the ship is on fire, Option B when some crew member fall into the sea, Option C when the ship is sinking, Option D when some crew has an injury. The right answer is option B when some crew member fall into the sea. What is fire wire? A wire for pulling burning ships off the pyre. Option B wire for handling fire buckets. Option C wire for pulling fire hoses up to the bridge. Option D wire for securing smoke divers. The right answer is option A wire for pulling burning ships off the pyre. A ship is in distress should transmit alarm signal followed by the distress call and message on one or all of the international distress frequencies. The right answer is option B 500 kHz, 2182 kHz and 156.8 MHz. Which one of the listed routine tests and inspections of life-saving appliances is not required by the regulations? Option A. Inspections of LSA including lifeboat equipment shall be carried out monthly to ensure they are complete and in good order. Option B. General emergency alarm to be tested daily. Option C. Survival crafts and rescue boat with launching appliances shall be visually inspected weekly to ensure they are ready for use. Option D. Lifeboat engines to be run for at least 3 minutes every week. The right answer is option B, general emergency alarm to be tested daily. How much fresh water is available in lifeboat per person? Option A, 3 liter. Option B, 1.5 liter. Option C, 2 liter. Option D, 500 milliliters. The right answer is option A, 3 liter. How much fresh water is available in life raft per person? Option A 3 liters, Option B 1.5 liter, Option C 2 liter and Option D 500 milliliters. The right answer is Option B 1.5 liter. The visible range of a parachute flare at night is approximately Option A 8 nautical miles, Option B 10 nautical miles, Option C 15 nautical miles and Option D 25 nautical miles. The right answer is Option D 25 nautical miles. A life raft should inflate in Option A 3 to 4 minutes, Option B 30 to 60 seconds, Option C 1 to 2 minutes, Option D 30 minutes. The right answer is Option B 30 to 60 seconds. Onboard training manual is required as per Option A SOLAS, Option B ISM code, Option C MLC and Option D STCW. The right answer is Option A SOLAS. LSA stands for Option A Line Saving Appliance, Option B Life Saving Appliance, Option C Line Safety Apparatus and Option D Life Safety Apparatus. The right answer is Option B Life Saving Appliance. Lifeboat should have Option A two buoyant rescue cords attached to not less than 30 meters buoyant line. Option B two buoyant rescue cords attached to not less than 50 meters buoyant line. Option C one buoyant rescue cords attached to not less than 30 meters buoyant line. Option D one buoyant rescue cords attached to not less than 50 meters buoyant line. The right answer is option A, two buoyant rescue cords attached to not less than 30 meters buoyant line. Which one of the listed requirement regarding buoyant smoke signals do not correspond to present regulations? The buoyant smoke signal shall 
ऑप्शन ए एमिट स्मोक फॉर एटलीस्ट थ्री मिनिट्स वेन फ्लोटिंग इन काम वाटर ऑप्शन बी कंटिन्यू टू एमिट स्मोक वेन सबमर्ज इन वाटर फॉर ए पीरियड ऑफ टेन सेकेंड्स अंडर टेन सेंटीमीटर ऑफ वाटर ऑप्शन सी नॉट बी स्वाम इन सी वे ऑप्शन डी गिव ए ब्राइट रेड लाइट ड्यूरिंग द एंटर एमिशन टाइप द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी गिव ए ब्राइट रेड लाइट ड्यूरिंग द एंटर एमिशन टाइप Which one of the listed requirements regarding launching appliances for survival crafts and rescue boats do not correspond to present regulations? Option A: Parts requiring regular maintenance by ships crew shall be readily accessible. Option B: The launching mechanism shall be arranged for actuating from a position within the survival craft or rescue boat in addition to a position of the ship's deck. Option C all launching appliances shall be capable of recovering survival crafts and rescue boat with crew option D launching appliances shall be constructed for minimum amount of routine maintenance the right answer is option C all launching appliances shall be capable of recovering survival crafts and rescue boat with crew thanks for watching if you have not watched set 1 questions here is the link I wish you all the best for your exam.